The Target 12 investigators are looking into the much talked about mandatory reporting law as part of our back to school up reports. We found that while districts are not required to train their personnel on the changes in the law, more districts are now requesting help from the Department of Children, Youth and Families. Target 12 investigator Walt Buteau has the details. There have now been two educators charged with not reporting alleged sexual abuse. It was the second case, though, that prompted multiple requests for training from DCYF. Cranston West school psychologist George Blessing was the first one charged with a failure to report child abuse misdemeanor since the law was changed last year to require all school personnel to report possible child abuse to DCYF. But since Kazarian Elementary Principal Violet Lamar was arraigned on the charge earlier this month, a lot more requests. DCYF's director says the agency has received multiple calls a week asking for training on the mandatory reporting law. Not just from schools, but from other agencies who want to make sure, again, that they understand the law and that they're doing the right thing by reporting. Lamar's attorney told Target 12 she did report the alleged victim's claims to the school department and was never trained on the mandatory reporting law. A school district spokesperson acknowledges there was no specific training on the law in the district before the alleged crimes at Kazarian surfaced. But afterwards, DCYF has conducted several training sessions for Providence teachers. Picola says while other states and jurisdictions require mandatory reporting law training, Rhode Island does not. If you call us, we'll come out to any of the districts. It's up to them whether or not they decide to require mandatory reporting training. Everyone who works in a school setting from teachers to janitors is required to report possible child abuse or neglect. The names reported to DCYF are not public and calls can be anonymous but are recorded. Online. We have some Nicola of that. Now. tells us while some are questioning the wording of the statute, the spirit of the law is clear protect children and, and there's little doubt the recent cases have had an impact. It's sort of raised the antenna for them. Uh, I don't know that I would characterize it as paranoid. They want to make sure they're doing everything that they can to protect their students and protect all the kids that they interact with. Attorneys for both Blessing and Lamar have stressed to us that their clients did not break the law. Picola tells us DCYF is gearing up to meet the demand for additional training sessions. With the Target 12 investigators, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.